He's not a mad scientist. He's a really good teacher. In fact, he's a delightful scientist. Rick Crossland, the scientist in residence at Wayne Township Schools and pretty much the scientist in residence for Indie Style, too. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Tracy. Hey, I know you're never going to miss an opportunity for science to be fun, and you're certainly uh, uh, grabbing it by the throat when it comes to Halloween. Hey, thanks. And you, you need to show your son this project, because then science will be his favorite subject in All school. All right. I hope so. I hope so. What do you got for us? So, you know, a, a science teacher always looks for any opportunity to have some fun. And so I thought, what can I do for Halloween? And so everybody likes slime. And so <laughs> yes. uh, there's a really uh, simple slime recipe and uh, a little bit of Elmer's glue, a lot of Elmer's glue, <laughs> uh, some stay flow starch and some water. And oh. so I'm going to mix some of this up here. Let me switch cameras. Uh, uh, here we go. So. So I have my bowl right here, and I'm going to put in the, the glue in the water. And, uh, you know, with science, it's, it's a little messy sometimes, but that's okay. And these two um, liquids are viscous. That means that they, they, they roll or they move at a certain time. And then you can start mixing that up. This is the fun part. Some kids don't like to get messy. Some kids do. I guess I'm the kind of kid that does. So you get that all mixed up. And then you put this other chemical in, the stay flow starch, and something fun and spooky starts to happen. It starts Whoa. to oh. gel. And uh, the more you knead it or the more you work it, it eventually becomes into one big slime <laughs> blob, so cool. which is kind of, and, and that you really need uh, just get both your hands in there. I made this one about 10 minutes ago. And uh, so this one now. Oh, yeah. Now, I will tell you, this will not cause any problems in the house. To okay. Speak <laughs> That's my next question. <laughs> but when I add the, when I add this, because it's Halloween, you know, when you add green, sure. you know, everybody want to do that. Well, that's when you start getting green slime, but <laughs> that does stick to your hands. And I even thought, what would happen if we added uh, oh. some beads or some, I'm not much of a uh, uh, person to add uh, glitter, but I'm going to add some cool beads to it and see what happens and <laughs> anyway the more you do it <laughs> the more slimy it gets. yeah it's ghoulish and glamorous it is it is <laughs> get your ghoul glam on so that's a really fun <laughs> thing for cool slime glam. and it'll last a while and this guy right here um is, is a lot of fun yeah. and so now it starts acting like a newtonian a non-newtonian fluid which is kind of crazy which means it acts like a solid and a liquid at the same time and that's the science part of that so that let me before i ruin my computer switch to another <laughs> camera here we go and that one's uh, easy to make and i think you guys are going to have the recipe for that sure we'll post that on our, our website now the second one has to do with gummy bears and these are uh, some worm gummy bears. And if you cut them up really thin, in fact, the thinner the better. And I've been soaking this in some, uh, I've been soaking this in some baking soda solution. Okay. And so what I'm doing is I got this baking soda all going. And here we go. Let me show you this a little bit better. Here you go. And the baking soda solution has the cut up gummy bears in it. And what I want to do is Put some vinegar and the reaction between the vinegar Ooh. and the baking soda should be kind of fun. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Let me move these up. Here we go. Okay. And uh, I'm going to put a handful of these in. We sh should see a reaction. And it takes a second for them to start bubbling and they become more buoyant. Oh, and they they're moving. All right. Up. No. And so you get the Frankenstein back to life gummy bears. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a cool chemical reaction because the vinegar and the baking soda makes carbon dioxide. You can see the bubbles coming up off of sure. them. So it's making them buoyant. Yeah. And when they bubbles pop, they go back down. Bubbles pop and go back down. So that's a fun thing to do. Let me dry my hands one more time. Now, I'm going to try something. I, I always you talk about. Take it till you make it. Well, scientists like to try it and see what happens. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I've got a, a jack o' lantern, and uh, and you can do this. You you guys have probably heard of uh, uh, the old foamy or the elephant toothpaste. And here is my jack o' lantern mm -hmm. over here. And uh, and what I'm gonna do is hopefully. <laughs> 
I'm going to make him with the old foamy solution. So let's see what happens, okay? <laughs> All right. I always like to try things with that. So I have a solution here, and that solution's on the website. This one does have hydrogen peroxide, which is quite dangerous. So my job, I put some uh, iodine in there and some soap suds, and let's see what happens. Yes. This may be a very cool or ghoulish uh, experiment. I'm going to pour this in, then I'm going to close the lid, and I don't know. We'll see what happens. Here you go. Ready? <laughs> He's not sure. We'll just wait it out. And it's starting to bubble, and it's starting to bubble. We, we want a really quick reaction, and I think it's going to come. I have just a little bit more of this. Here we go. It's coming slowly. I wanted a dramatic one. There we go. Oh, I see it here. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And that's a, a decomposition, and that is actually making some heat and some oxygen in here. So that one's kind of fun to do. You can try that one also at home. There's a recipe on there. Just be careful with the hydrogen peroxide. Will do. Hey, we're, uh, we're going to put all those uh, recipes on our website, anystyle.tv, and we're going to check back in with you in a bit, right? Yes, because I have another one that I'm a little worried about, but let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now that's a tease. <laughs> I love that he's worried about it. I'm, I'm kind of glad we're doing this. Yeah. Not in studio, yeah. he's worried about Just it. Thank life. you, Rick. We'll check back in a little bit. We'll see what all happens together, <laughs> right? Thank you.